Hello viewers, I'm Chris and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be creating a project in the Google Cloud Console. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and navigate your way to console.cloud.google.com. You'll be presented with this screen. Now the first thing you're going to do is go to your drop down menu and click New Project. Now you see here, you're going to get the option of a project name. This could be anything you want, it really doesn't matter. We're going to call it Demo Project. And then you'll notice that underneath, Google has provided us with a unique ID for our project. This is because all projects need to have a globally unique project ID so that we can reference them in our configs and our Terraform configs and using a gcloud command. We don't have an organization, so we're not going to worry with that one. And we're just going to click create. After a couple of minutes, once the call's been made, the project will be available to you in the dropdown. So we're going to go up to the left again, select project, and there it is, demo project. And on the right hand side, we can see our unique ID. And that's it. That's all there is to it to creating a project in the Google Cloud. Now, if you want to take it one step further and do the same configuration with the terminal, we'll do that now. Once you've got your terminal open, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we're authenticated to log into our browser. So we're going to do a gcloud auth login. This will prompt us to be able to log in using our account into the Google Cloud Console. It will bridge a connection between our terminal and the console itself. Now that that's connected, we can see here that we don't have a default project set, just highlighted here. So all we're going to do is we're going to confirm the projects that we previously created. So gcloud projects list is the command for that. There's our project, demo project, and the unique project ID. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is create a new project. Now we know what this one's called, so we're going to do project gcloud projects create. Now just remember there is projects plural here. Create. Now we don't know what unique ID we're going to use, so we need to be able to prompt Google the same way we did using the UI. And to do that, we're just going to use the name flag. So we're going to do name equals, and we'll call this one terminal project. Very simple, and then hopefully this will prompt. There we go. There's a unique ID, terminal project 429,513. Do we want to use it? Yes. And then we'll see here that the terminal is now creating our project in our, well, alongside our other project. Now, again, this will take, you know, anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute for it to create. And once it's created, we'll be able to check the list and see if it's there. Now, don't be discouraged if you hit it and it's not there yet. That's totally normal. The project is still being created. It's still being made available to both the UI and through the terminal using the gcloud command. All you have to do is be a little bit patient and eventually it will show up. And anyway, there, there we go, there it is. So we've got our demo project, which was the first one we created through the UI. And we've got our terminal project, which is the one we created through the terminal. And that's all there is to it. And that's it, there you have it. You can create a project in both the UI and the terminal with these couple of easy steps. Now, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please do like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future content, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much.